Welcome to episode 12. I came back with a vengeance this week. A lot of good deals. Get out right now. Hello all, I'm just gonna do this quick vid. I got some games in today from Salvation Army, which was a great deal. A pretty good find. I'm gonna trade it to a Fantastic John. Something I think is pretty cool that you don't really see. I'll show you what I got now. Two controllers for a buck a piece. This is a GameCube, original PS1. No dual shock, no nothing. They're both pretty dirty. But I got them for a buck a piece. I went to my local Salvation Army 30 minutes before closing. They were all labeled $3 each, but the lady just charged me $25 for all of it. So, first off, I got this Crash Bandicoot, the little 3D sort of deal. But this is just the case. Uh, inside is actually a Mortal Kombat trilogy. Ahaha! Ah, I did not know that. Manual with the little insert thing. Tomb Raider. This one had an extra game in it too. Mortal Kombat 4, as well as Tomb Raider. Complete. These games, some of these, most of these games, they look like they don't even been played. Silent Hill. Complete. Look at that scary. Uh, whoa! Dino Crisis. Complete. Armored Core Project Phantasma. Complete. But the thing broke off. Metal Gear Solid VR Missions. Complete. Armored Core Master of Arena. Complete. Both discs. Overt Ops. Nuclear Dawn. Complete. Manual's right there. Fear Effect 2. Retro Helix. There's actually four CDs in here. So it's complete. Metal Gear Solid Black Label. Complete. Parasite Eve. Thought this would be complete, but it's not. It's missing the bonus disc. The best one out of them is this Parasite Eve 2, which is complete. So I'm going to trade all those games, plus, you know, Gears... Legend of Dragoon, Chrono Cross. And I'm gonna show you what I got from the trade right now. Okay, so before I show you the trade on this uh, listing for GameCube games, I got 11 games, $30. So here we go. Adam 2002, complete. NBA Courtside 2002, complete. True Crime Streets of LA, complete. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2, incomplete. WarioWare Inc. Complete. Super Monkey Ball 2. Complete. Pokemon Channel. Incomplete. And now we're getting to the good games. Pokemon Coliseum. Incomplete. A very fun game, Mario Party 4. This one is complete, but then it's missing the front page. This is the one game that really stood out. Once I saw that game and then I looked up the price, like, I must have this lot. And for 30 bucks for this whole lot, it was a really good deal. Gotcha Force. Incomplete. It doesn't have the manual, but it has just the precautions booklet and it has a rental sticker on it. The piece de resistance of the whole lot, this bad boy. Zelda Wind Raker, not the player's choice version, but the original version. And it's complete. All this for just $30. That was the start off the week. I traded John all those PS1 games and in turn he traded me all these Nintendo games. But it's the one game that I'm going to show at the end that really really seals the deal so let's show what I got Ninja Gaiden 
kind of torn up right there. Double Dragon 2, uh, the condition is bubbly. Bad Dudes, Tiger Heli, Dragon Warrior, Chippendale Rescue Ring, Super Spike V-Ball, of course Tetris, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Double Dragon 3, Little Nemo Dream Masters, this one is really jacked up right here as you can see, Top Gun, Jackal, Gradius, Dr. Mario. This is the one game that I just like, I just threw at him, I was like, would you trade this? But he actually said yes, and I was like, yes, awesome. Pretty rare game to find, and I'm glad I got it, because once I saw his video on it, I was like, I had to have it, I could never find it. So here it is. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum, snow brother. It's got some bubbling to it, and it's got a tear, torn, or whatever. But it's Snow Brothers. It has the manual that went along with it. That's pretty sweet. Saturday, I got off work early and I went to the uh, Salvation Army and I picked up this PlayStation 1 uh, DualShock controller. Sold it for me for $2. As well as these Tomb Raider 2 and 3 uh, for $3 a piece. Sunday, I went to the Sunday uh, flea market at Asen and I actually met up with John. We both started at the same time. He gave me this. It was part of a previous trade that he forgot to give it to me. So, you know, it's cool that he remembered. We walked around a lot. We talked a lot. Here's uh, some of the... I basically bought Nintendo DS games. That was the only good stuff I could find. But it was pretty decent stuff. For $8, I got this. Uh, Dragon Quest Monster Joker 2. It's complete. Tales of the Abyss 3DS game. Complete. I got this for $8. Previous play and trade owner selling off whatever leftover stock that they have. Now they're at flea markets trying to just sell off whatever they can. And I bought four sealed games from them. First off is three Final Fantasy IV and Nintendo DS sealed games. They had it listed for $25 each, but I bought these for $10 apiece. The final buy of the week is this Ace Attorney Apollo Justice sealed. But, that's not the best deal of the week. The Man Show complete Season 1, Volume 1, and Volume 2 for a grand total of 5 bucks. Ziggy Soggy Ziggy Soggy Oi Oi Oi! <laughs> Sorry guys, if, it's, if I haven't been entertaining today, I just got off work. It's like almost midnight. I'm kind of tired and I want to get this video uh, done before the next week starts. Right, thanks for watching. Thanks for Mr. Dude 206 for being a, a subscriber that entered my contest and he's the winner. Most of these games will be listed up on my eBay. Check it out on my link below. Check out Fantastic John. He always has good stuff there. Keep on digging. I'm pretty sure you're gonna find some treasures. Video Game Archaeologist signing out.